All right, here we are with the next set of birds. Yep. Uh, this one has seven in it. Easy. Easy birds? Easy set. He says they're easy. Easy set. Okay, so, easy well, set. I mean, they must be. They're easy birds. All right, what do we got? Fun birds. First one. Okay, we're going to pick back up on the birds of prey. This is another one, probably one of the more common ones that you already know, and it's the uh, turkey vulture. The turkey vulture has the red uh, head, and we say it's an, a naked head because it doesn't have feathers. And it's red like a turkey's head. Yeah, I think so. that's why they call it um, turkey vulture. That makes sense. Hey, do you know why turkey vultures don't have feathers? On their head? Uh, is it because they shave their heads? No, no, it's not. It's it's because of where they put their heads. You know, they eat dead things. That's called carrion. Okay. That's okay. a carry-on. So they're scavengers? They're scavengers. Okay. And so where they put their head, they get a lot of microbes, bugs. So, so and when drink. they fly, they always carry on their luggage? It's always carry-on, yeah. I wonder if you picked that up. Right. And so what science thinks is they don't have feathers because that would get all nappy. And so, uh, so they, they stick their heads in the dead animals, grab a bite to eat, and then they don't get all the stuff stuck in their feathers. That's right. Okay. Right. Right. Nice. Yeah. Then they sit out in the sun and the ultraviolet radiation from the sun kills what microbes and things are growing on their head. That's I, pretty smart. I can think of a few seventh graders that they need to hang out in the sun and kill some things maybe on their head. Your grandfather probably called this bird a buzzard. That's not an accurate name. Buzzards are kind of large, bird, large per, birds of prey, but um, that's what they call. So what about our? We got another vulture as our next one, right? We do. This is the cousin to the turkey vulture, and it's known as the black vulture. Okay. Can you guess why? Is it because their head is black? Yeah. Okay. So their head is black. It's still bald. They don't have feathers on their head for the same reason the turkey vulture doesn't, but um, it's black and bald. Um, they're smaller than the turkey vulture, their cousin, and believe it or not, they come from South America. So okay. they've made their way up into the United States over a long time. So turkey vultures are more... Canadian and Northern American. Yeah. So yeah. here in Texas, we actually get both. That's right. We get both, both of them. And so uh, they fly distinctively different also. So when you're looking up in the sky, you can tell the difference. I was going to say, I mean, sometimes you're too far away to see the head color. I mm -hmm. mean, it's, it, the mm -hmm. bird is up there circling, waiting for something to die. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little hard to tell if it's got a red head or a black head. Exactly. So how, how else would we tell the difference? Well, you can tell by, uh, they're smaller in the sky, but sometimes if they're all the same, it's hard to tell that. But a lot of times they fly together, believe it or not. But you can tell them if they fly together, the black vulture that we're looking at here flaps a lot more. Usually in a pattern of about five flaps okay. and then coast, and then five flaps and then coast. They can't they can't glide as well as their cousins, the turkey vulture. The turkey vulture just glides and glides and glides and doesn't flap that much. He's more efficient or lazy. Yeah, one of those. Right. He's North American. <laughs> now you can also tell there's a uh, the the tips of their wings are a little bit different as well. Okay, so on this one the tips of the wings are white. Yes. Well, let's look at the turkey vulture here. So it's not just the tips here. It kind of goes all the way right all the way along to the other mm -hmm. pinion feathers. Pinion pinion feathers there. Yeah. That's your pinion. Yes. As well as the tips. Yeah. So you can see these big white spots on the on the black vulture. So now we're moving away from the birds of prey. We're not we're not into the vultures anymore. This is the American coot. That's right. This is a really unique looking bird. Yeah, he, he looks kind of yeah. funny. Actually. When you just look at him in the picture here, you see that the legs are a lot further in the back of its body instead of in the middle of the body. So they don't walk well. They walk fine. They look off balance. They do. They're, yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. off balance, and that's because they're they're designed to be more efficient in the water okay. than they are on land. Look so, at their, so do they have web feet? They or? do. Well, it's kind of pseudo web okay. feet. There's no webbing between the toes, but you can see that the toes uh, have some modified webbing on them. It makes them very efficient. They chase fish, so they'll dive, chase a fish, catch it, and come back up. I, I always think of this guy's 
feet kind of like uh, like snowshoes almost. Oh, where yeah. where the, the whole point of a snowshoe is to increase the surface area and help you walk on something fragile like snow. Yeah. Well, this guy would walk on mud, right? Yes. Marsh bird. And yep. so as his, as his feet and toes hit that mud, they spread out, and that lets them, you know, kind of have better walking abilities on, yeah. on something like mud. So. Most people see these in the water and they think they're ducks okay. or okay. some kind of a little duck, but they're not an American coot. So how can you tell the difference between a coot and a duck or a teal? Okay. Well, the, the beak looks really different. Exactly. The, the beak is very different. You look on this one, it's a white beak and it's got this black tip on the end of it. That, and then just the shape of it. Yeah, it's obviously a duck bill. Exactly. It's not designed to eat food the same way. Got it. Yeah. Trying, trying to give a video. Yeah. Okay. And then it has this black body and has these really cool red eyes, if you can see that with the uh, uh, binoculars. Yeah. All right, what's the next bird? Next bird. Next bird is the kill deer. Okay, okay. So this one must be called that because they, they kill deer. Yeah. <laughs> no. No? This one is called the kill deer because supposedly that's the sound that it makes. Kill deer. Oh. Kill deer. And you'll get to hear that when we do our sound. So he talks a good game, but he, he doesn't right, actually. Right, okay. right, right. Now he's a bluffer, or she's a really good bluffer, and I'll talk about that in a minute. We see these on campus all the time, and they like to hang around on the ground. They actually nest on the ground, okay. nest in trees like a lot of the birds do. I've seen them out past the football field yep. and on the, the fruit trail. Yeah, and they're out in the spring. So you may see some if you're out around the track or in your yard or in a park somewhere they walk around. They do, they, they mate. Uh, so there's a male and a female that hang around mm -hmm. together with the nest to protect the nest. Characteristics, you're going to see uh, a brown, uh, this brownish back with a broad white chest and uh, stomach, and then they have these rings around their throat. Now this one is the little dance that it does, and I told you they're good blockers. Yes. So if a predator or you get close to their nest that's on the ground, the male or the female will start acting like it has a broken wing or can't fly. And if you're a fox or a coyote, then you get distracted by the little dance. They kind of, they kind of, yeah, they do, that they do yeah, yeah, they, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and so, squirrel, yeah, and so, um, the fox or the coyote or the dog or the cat will start chasing the kill deer. Okay, okay, and that, because it's being noisy, it's being loud, exactly. it's like, oh, yeah, that guy over there seems helpless. Right, so okay. I'm going to go chase that and try to eat that. Okay. And the reality is, the kill deer is just moving it away from the nest. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because then they can really fly, and then they fly. Yeah. they fly away. Yeah, when the when the when the coyote gets close, they fly away. And by that time, the coyote's lost interest and moves on. Right, right. Kill deer.